welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be on how I'm going to repaint or refurbish my bathtub here in my rental apartment I will be moving out very soon my lease is coming to an end and I want to make sure that when we do the final walkthrough of my unit that nothing will stop me from getting my deposit back so I will show you how I'm going to redo my bathtub as well as how I will retouch up some paint on the walls where I've had pictures hung and things of that nature. So if this is something that you're interested in seeing as well as picking up a few tips as far as what to do in your rental upon move out, then stay tuned. So I picked up this from, it's called Homex, and I picked this up from Lowe's. I was looking for the Rust-Oleum kit, but they didn't have that there. I would have had to either order it from Amazon or order it from Walmart.com, and I don't have that kind of time. So I just went ahead and got this. This is just their store brand of that same you know, type of item, and it still does the same things. So I am going to follow the instructions here. You guys can't read that. I'm not even going to try to make y'all read that. But basically it says to just um, prepare the surface such as cleaning it. Make sure all the rust or any type of dirty areas are going to be clean. It comes with the um, all the supplies needed such as gloves, a paintbrush, a corrective tape, um, and things of that nature. So everything is here, you guys. This was about $36 at Lowe's. I'm not sure how much it will be at Home Depot or anything like that. I know online for Amazon it was $24.99 and on Walmart.com it was $25.99 as well. So again, it has all of this, the instructions as well as all of the materials that's needed for um, you know doing the process of the tub. It says it's one can of 21 ounce floor, yeah, one can of 21 ounces of the roll-on finish which is the paint and then there is a packet of the surface cleaner, two pads of extra fine steel wood, one pair of gloves, and two paint brushes. So again, I believe this has to have two coats of that paint, so that's probably why they have two paint brushes in there. Um, but we'll go ahead and get right into it. I'll take everything out of the box and show you guys each, um, each product, okay? Alright, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. And I just threw on whatever, something that you guys don't mind getting dirty in. If the lighting in here is weird, again, I'm in the bathroom. You guys know I don't have a window in here because the bathroom is in my bedroom. But I tried to open my blinds for some natural light to come in as well. All right. And this is the pads. This is the steel wood pad. That's what those look like. Okay. And the gloves, of course. It's two pair of gloves. Oh, no, it's one. They're just really thick gloves. This is the surface preparation cleaner. So this is what I'll use to clean the tub before I start doing the painting process. My paintbrush. Here's another paintbrush. And then here is the paint. Now I do have corrector's tape um, in my uh, craft room. So I'll probably just get some of my own corrector's tape. I don't even know if I'll need it because again, it's all going to be right here in this one area with the bathtub. Now, this says fill level is intentional to leave extra vapor space in can. Um, this is 21 flow flowing ounces as well as this. And, yeah, I'm not going to read all the instructions on camera for you guys. I know y'all don't want to hear any of that. But this is what the can looks like. And it's Toughest Tile from the Homex Collection at Lowe's for $36.99. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So you guys stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead, get my gloves and everything on, start the cleaning process, and jump right into that. Alright guys, so it's very important to read your instructions. I know we all have that DIY spirit in us where we think, oh, I can look at it, look at the pictures, and I know what to do. But in this particular instance, you definitely want to read the instructions. You are dealing with fumes that can get into your skin, your nose, your pores, and things of that nature. And it could be very harmful to you. So please read your instructions step by step, okay? Okay, so first things first is go ahead and give your tub a complete overview and as you can see there's a little bit of white upon the tile up against the wall where I've tried to go in myself and either spray paint or add some paint adhesive to the wall which just didn't work however the reason this tub looks like this 
I am not dirty, 100% disclaimer for that. I am not a dirty person. However, when I first moved into this unit, they painted the tub the day that I received my keys. So when I came in that night to clean, disinfect the way that I like it to be clean before I actually have to use the tub, um, all the paint washed away. So this is originally what the tub looks like before they actually painted over all of the, you know, cosmetic, you know, ugly looking tub basically. So I'm going to go back in and do the same thing that they did upon moving me in here. So I just wanted to give you guys a full overview of the bathtub. That's where I had my um, Epsom salt for my bath soaps. And then I had like a couple shampoos here. I had my soap dish um, in that corner. And then over here I had my shampoo as well. So I'm going to go in and start the cleaning process of this first. As you guys can see, I don't know if I can zoom in, but in that area where it's more white slash brown, whatever you want to call it, is where the paint would stick to my sponges when I clean the tub. So it just looks ugly and it looks disgusting and I'm a bit embarrassed, but not so much because again, this is really what the tub looked like upon them painting the tub to make it look good for rental purposes or for showing purposes. And that's how they sell the rental units. So you guys just have to get a little bit smarter than them and make sure that you can refurbish those things back so that you can get your deposit back. And for me, it's $350. I want all of my coin back. Okay, sis? Okay. Very little progress, but guys, I will run this thing in time lapse and I will keep checking back in with you guys. All right, so I just went in and did the first layer of cleaning with some dishwashing liquid, Dawn preferably because we know it all cuts out a lot of grease with Dawn. Um, I used some alcohol and I also used um, a little bit of bleach. So I did that first for my first cleaning because this little packet only comes with so much of the cleanser stuff in there. You're supposed to mix that with a gallon of water. So I wanted to go in and clean thoroughly for myself first with the first uh, steel wood pad. Now I'm going to go back in with the surface cleaner or the sur surface preparation cleaner and my gallon of water to go ahead and do the second coat of cleaning. And then from there, I will come back on and show you guys more. I will show it in time lapse of me up. Uh, time lapse of me cleaning this as I'm going but I need to move back and forth so much that the camera probably will won't focus or you know it'll just be all over the place I don't want this to be such a long drawn out video but you guys get the gist of having to clean it and I did my best with um, my first application of cleaning products so we're going to go in now with the surface preparation cleanser and I'll come back and show you guys that end result y'all look at this i am so mad with myself that is all of the surface cleaning stuff i need to pour in my water on the floor dang it but guess what i'm gonna do guess what i'm about to do you got me wrong i'm not about to waste 30 something dollars 36 37 dollars because it wasted i'm using it it's all going down the drain anyway oh well no this is why i can't film stuff like this and try to do it all at the same time because i need complete focus and concentration while doing this now i got dirt and hair oh y'all i'll be back Alright, so this is after the second application of cleaning with the surface preparation cleanser. So I see a couple of spots are still wet after I've also wiped it down with some alcohol. So after that is done drying, I'll go ahead and start the painting process. I am going to go ahead and get my, um, my tape to start taping off some of the tile area. And that should be it. We should go ahead and get started from there, guys. So I'm hoping that this turns out really good. Again, like I said, I am not 
a professional. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to do this and it looked really simple. I know things are different when you're actually in the groove and doing it. So I'm just going to pray for good results. Hopefully it does turn out well. I mean, it's a simple painting project, so we shall see. But all right, guys, stay tuned and let's get painting. everybody this is the first coat of the paint and I will say that I did a pretty good job I will have to go back in some crevices and some corners to finish it out but you're supposed to do one coat at a time let that first coat dry I think for like a couple of hours let me see um, it says you're supposed to I'll go back into the instructions but this is the first coat, like I said, and it actually looks really good for the first coat. Um, it is very strong, I will definitely say that. It's very, very strong. I just wanted to check in really quick with you guys. My camera is about to die, as well as I'm about to run out of footage. So this is the first coat of what the paint looks like on the tub. I know that angle is probably really, really weird, but you can kind of see it from here. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to let this sit for however many hours it says to do so and clean up my little mess I have here on the floor. Just a little bit of paint from like my foot and my hands and things like that. I lost a nail in the process. Don't know where that happened or how it happened. <laughs> but this is it guys. I want to hurry up and say this really quick before the camera cuts off. And that's about it guys. So I will check back in with you guys to show you the second portion of the painting process. And then of course the finished product guys. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for part two.